So what actually is E equals to M times C squared, the best equation still known by the mankind. Einstein's equation. Now let me give you the first parameters that is E is the energy, M is mass, or we can say small mass because the particles have very small mass, and C is light speed. So first let me explain you what actually is E equals mc square. Just for definition's sake we can say that E equals to mc square is actually just an energy mass relationship. Or simply we can say as E is equal to mc square tells us that actually energy is directly proportional to mass be the constant the speed of light. This is nothing but the E equals to mc square but what difference What's the difference between E equals to mc square and E equals to half mv square? Let me tell you there is a very huge difference. I'm gonna tell you right now. So first coming on to E equals to half mv square. This formula is used in any normal dynamics. For any normal dynamics we can use the formula as E equals to uh, half of mv square as we all know as for any particle and now coming on to E equals mc square this formula is used in light speed dynamics means if any particle is reaching near the speed of light or if any particle is close to speed of light like 0.01 .01 times c for 2c even 0.01 .01 times c is a very huge speed and we can consider that it's one hundredth of a speed of light that's quite close so for any particle which has its velocity close to speed of light it will have its time dilated it would have its length contracted it would have its mass increased due to dynamic mass its momentum increase and all that stuff thus with these all calculations we can say that the energy of that particle is the mass or is directly proportional to mass being constant as c square or a equals mc square as we derived in my last video this is e equals to mc square and now let's learn what are actually its applications so one of its application is you can you must have studied in nuclear physics uh, about the binding energy right the binding energy in nuclear physics we can say it as a formula like binding energy equals to delta m times c square that is simply derived from the formula E equals mc square since binding energy is actually a form of energy and delta m is the mass defect. The mass defect that is the mass defect we can say the as in binding energy the reaction occurs or we can say nuclear fission and nuclear fusion occurs. The actual mass of that particle which is lost is called as the mass defect. Thus uh, this is uh, an application of E equals to mc square. And another of its application is bombs. I don't think it's a good application, but application is application. So, with the bombs, actually we can calculate energy. As in bombs, we can simply break the matter. So, the mass of the matter, delta M, M, or E equals to MC square. Uh, we can calculate the energy of that bomb, but let me tell you, that entire mass is not converted to energy that's the defect of uh, e equals to mc square the entire mass or the exactly e is not equal to mc square with respect to the atom bombs because here actually e is something which is less than mc square
because every particle is not actually breaking inside and very less particles are broken so less amount of energy is actually created some is dissociated into the air so this was nothing but e equals to mc square derivation thanks for watching